problem facing thousands of American families. They signed a car lease and then the economy tanked or an emergency popped up. And now they're struggling to make those payments. But there is something that you can do. Keith Yaskin joins us live with the story. Keith. Well, Carrie, some people have housing payments that are going up. We know the credit card debt is piling up. For some families, wouldn't it be great to get rid of one of those car payments? Well, it's another trend we're seeing in this recession. Two-year-old Ava Holder was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. Her father cut back on work to spend more time at the hospital. And therefore, we, we need to cut some costs. And we thought that getting rid of my car would be a great way to do it. So, But Mike Holder was locked in a lease, or was he? He listed his BMW on a website called leasetrader.com, and someone in Colorado took over the rest of that lease. I think there's probably a, a lot of people in my same situation who it would help them out financially to get rid of their car. So. These are people who went out a year or so ago and got themselves into a car lease, and now all of those life changes are taking place and they can no longer afford them. That's John Sternal of leasetrader.com. Business is up in the big recession. It's, it's a wonderful feeling um, to know that we're able to contribute in some way to, to help people out of a financial pinch. Mike figures his family is saving about $1,000 a month by no longer paying the vehicle's gas, insurance, and monthly payments. Personally, it really has been. It was a great way to save money, and, and it's helped us out. It's helped our daughter out, so it's worked out great for us. Lease Trader says of its Arizona customers who got rid of their leases, most of them had about $10,000 still to pay off. So you can see what a positive it is to get rid of all that extra debt. I'm Keith Yaskin, Fox 10 News.